Hi gals and guys. Today we're looking at lesson 3.10 problem solving. It's page 217 in your Go Math book. I'm going to put my name at the top. And today we're talking about problem solving with equal groups. Our essential question is, how can acting it out help when solving a problem about equal groups? So we're talking about acting it out. We're going to be using pictures and counters to solve these problems. So first off, it says Theo puts his stickers in five rows. Go ahead and underline five rows. There are three stickers in each row. How many stickers does Theo have? So he has five rows and he has three stickers in each row. How many stickers does he have? Well, that's the question. How many stickers does he have? So, what do we need to find? Well, we need to find how many stickers Theo has. I'm going to let you finish tracing that. What information do I need to use? Well, we have five rows of stickers, and we have three stickers in each row. So, we're going to show how to solve the problem. Now, remember, rows go across like this. They are horizontal. So I have a grid here, and we need to show five rows with three stickers in each row. So Here's one row, here's two rows, here's another row, now I have three rows, here's another row, now I have four rows, And here's another row. Now I have five rows. I'm always going to double check. Okay. Here's one, two, three, four, five. I have five rows. And I have three stickers in each row. Now, how many stickers do I have in all here? And to figure that out, we can count by threes. We can count each one up. We can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Or we can skip count by threes. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Either way. But now we know we have a total of 15 stickers. Okay. So, we need to answer this in a complete sentence. How many stickers does Theo have? Remember, we're going to look back into the question to form our complete sentence. And we're going to say, Theo has 15 stickers, period. Check for that capital T in Theo. Now we need to draw a picture of the array. This is called an array that we made. Now I want you to write the word array. So we're going to draw this array, and it has five rows. So this is how I like to draw rows so I don't get confused. I go one, two, three four, five. 
And then I'm going to put three stickers in each row. One, two, three. And I'm going to do my best to kind of line these up. So I have five rows. I'm putting three stickers in each row. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. Now both of my arrays match. Now I'm not done yet. Okay, you have part of this. You have your picture. You have your complete sentence, your answer. Now I need you to write the addition number sentence that goes with this and the multiplication number sentence that goes with this. So we're writing the addition number sentence. Each row is an equal group. So I'm going to circle my rows. And the way I do this is I say 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 is 15. So that's the repeated addition number sentence we need to have. 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 equals 15. I have 5 rows of 3. So I have 5 threes. Now to write the multiplication number sentence. The first number is the number of rows I have. And I have one, two, three, four, five rows. Five rows of how many in each row? Three. And again, my product is going to be 15. This is my factor, factor, product. This is an example of an array. So go ahead and finish getting that written down. And join me for the next page on 218. On page 218, the directions say, try another problem. Act out the problem. Draw to show what you did. Maria puts all of her postcards in four rows. Underline four rows. There are three postcards in each row. How many postcards does Maria have? There's our question. Let's think about the information that we have. Okay, we have four rows with three postcards on each row. Now, whenever we're talking about rows, we have an array. Okay. So let's draw our four rows first. One, two, three, four. There are our four rows. Remember, rows always go this way. Now we need to put three postcards in each row. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, Three. I did my best to line up my columns here, as you can see. Our question was, how many postcards does Maria have? Well, we've drawn how she has them arranged. We've drawn her array. Let's count them up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. She has 12 postcards. We can also skip count by three. Three, six, 
9, 12. So our complete sentence is going to be Maria has, remember we're going to start with what's in the question, Maria has how many? 12 postcards. Make sure you have a capital letter and a period. Next, we need to write the repeated addition sentence and the multiplication number sentence that goes with this number story. So remember, when we're writing the addition number sentence, we circle our rows and each row is like a group. So we're going to say 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3. 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 equals what? And you should have 12. Now we need the multiplication number sentence. And in multiplication, our first factor is always our number of rows if we're dealing with an array. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4 rows. So that's going to go first. Times how many in each row? 3. So it's saying I have four groups of three or four rows with three in each row. So that gives me a total or a product of 12. Go ahead and hit pause if you need to to finish that problem. And let's go on to number two. Jamal puts four toys in each box. How many toys will he put in four boxes? Now this is not a number story about an array because we're not talking about rows. Okay? This is just a number story with equal groups. Okay, Equal groups. So he has four toys in each box. And he has four boxes. All right. Well, let's draw. First, let's draw our four boxes. And we're going to put the four toys in each box. And I'm just going to draw circles. They can be bouncy balls. So we have four boxes with four toys in each box. The question is, how many toys will he put in four boxes? So our complete sentence is going to be, he will put, he will put blank toys in four boxes boxes, period. He will put blank toys in four boxes. Now, how many toys does he have total? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. He has sixteen toys. He will put sixteen toys in four boxes. Now let's hurry and write the addition number sentence that goes with this. And I'm just going to write it right under my picture. 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 equals 16. Now I'm going to write my multiplication number sentence. I have four groups with four in each group, four toys in each group, and I will see you on part two.